for someone who has been a graduate student for a little over five years, I can tell you writing is half of the battle. Um, and particularly being a PhD student, 50% of my work currently is just writing. Proposals, literature reviews, drafts that never gets finished. And sometimes we all hit that wall, the thought block, or just not knowing where to begin. That's why in this video, I want to show you one the potential to change your workflow and help you stay on track. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Banda Khalifa. On this channel, we talk about how you can engineer your success. If you're driven and ready to level up, whether that means getting into your dream graduate school, accelerating your career, or boosting your productivity, you are in the right place. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of our videos. So as I was saying, today I want to review one AI tool that I have been using for some time that I think has the potential to change your academic research. And that tool is Jenny AI. So Jenny AI is like your powerful writing assistant that is highly popular among students and researchers. So in this video, what I'm going to do is to show you how to use it to make your writing faster, more focused, and less overwhelming. Let's look deep into it. So before we begin, the first thing you have to do is to go to jenny.ai and create a free account. Once you're in, as you can see, I've already logged into my account. Once you're in, you'll see four main elements. That's new, documents, library, and AI chat, right? So if you click on the new, let's say I click on the new, you see three choices. Either a document choice that helps you start writing or an AI chat that's features more like a chatbot. So if you want to start the chat or upload files or get help, uh, this feature can help you do that. And it, it's tailored specifically for research. So think of it as a custom GPT for research purposes. And then there's a third option, which is upload PDF. So you can add files that you want, um, as many as possible, I think up to 100 files. And then you can ask specific questions based on those files. So I, I, I want us to explore um, each of these sections in detail. Let's start with the AI chat feature. So if I click on the AI chat, this is the window that opens. As you can see, this window is where you interact with the chatbot in real time. Uh, so in this window, you know, the chatbot can help you outline your paper, review a draft that you upload or draft an abstract for you. You can ask questions about your uploaded research papers. You can search for you can search the web for uh, for real time academic info so let's say i have information about a specific um a specific subject and remember for every ai tool uh your your output is dependent on your input so let's say i, I have this in the persona of a physician scientist with expertise in infectious diseases summarize the current status of the 2024-2025 measles outbreak in the U.S. Include five citations between 2024 and 2025. Use a formal academic tone and 150 words. So let's see what we get from here. So as you can see, once you key in your prompt, uh, you think for a while, and then it gives you an appropriate response, which will include your references automatically. So you can see the references here. Uh, that we got from from Jenny AI. So it, another feature of Jenny AI that makes it really useful is this ability to analyze papers. So for example, if let's say you're doing a literature review where you have to read through several papers just to find an idea or even identify a gap, what you can do is simply upload uh, as many papers as possible. So for example, uh, let's say I have a paper that I want to review, uh, I'll go to new and then I'll go to upload. And you have the ability to upload as many as 100 papers at a time and actually chat with those papers in real time. So I've uploaded this paper. Once you upload a paper, you can go to AI chat and then you can ask questions about the paper. So for example, I could say, what is the summary or what is the takeaway? from this paper and you actually you can make on this and then you go send and then wait for the response. So as you can see, it gives you a clear breakdown of the main or the key takeaways from the paper. 
which is really useful. So if you are reading, let's say, hybrid papers, uh, this tool can really make a difference. The use case, as I said, is mainly a writing tool, right? So let's say you want to start writing or you want to write something. Um, you go to new, you go to document, and once you go to document, you see this pop up. There are several ways you can start your writing. The first is to start with a prompt. The second is to press enter to start from scratch, right? And the third is to import a document. Let's say you, you're writing, you're working on a draft that you want to refine. You can actually import a Word document and it will help you refine your writing. So let's say usually starting from, from prompt. For example, I want to do a literature review or get more information on the topic on ultra processed foods. So imagine I use this prompt. I'm a postdoc researcher in epidemiology, writing a research paper on association between processed food consumption and pre-diabetes risk. So you can decide to leave the smart headings, standard headings, or no headings at all, whichever one you want. So let's leave it with smart headings and then start writing and see what we get. Awesome. So as you can see, it has given us pretty good framework with some details about the headings that we actually need. So uh, the way it works is that you read a sentence and then if that sentence resonates with what you want, you would accept it, right? So we accepted the sentence with the references and then what it will typically do is to add another sentence and then you accept it. Another sentence, then you accept it in that order with all the references being provided. So this is pretty much very comfortable. So one additional tool I would like to highlight in Jenny AI that makes it very useful is the ability to paraphrase a sentence within what you've generated. So for example, if you've already started and there's a sentence that you don't like, for example, this initial sentence, and you want to paraphrase it, all you have to do is to highlight it, go to AI edits, and you can see the various options you have. You can increase, you can improve the fluency, you can paraphrase, you can simplify, you can strengthen your argument. So in, in our case, let's say we want to paraphrase it academically. Let's click on that and see what we get. So it gives you a, a paraphrased uh, statement. Prediabetes, a common hyperglycemic condition, is marked by higher than normal blood glucose, but not high enough to be considered type 2 diabetes. So this is the kind of option you get. If you think this statement is okay, all you have to do is to replace the selection or try again. If you don't like it, you can try again, but if, if it's okay for you, you just hit replace selection and then it replaces your original statement. A tool that I would like to highlight is the citation tool, right? And it's such an important concept in academia that you have to really master. So say, for example, you have a sentence that you've added from one article or online and you want to find a citation for it. What you have to do is to click the sentence, go to cite, and then you have the opportunity to cite from all related documents. So for example, so all means that they are pulling resources from all the articles that had some elements of detail with respect to the, the sentence you've highlighted. So you can click it and cite it as you can see here, or if you've even uploaded the article in your library, you can also cite from within your library. So this makes it very unique to help you ensure that you are actually abiding by the principles of good academic writing. So after all is done, what you're left with is to export your writing. And then if you want to pass it through another tool or you want to go through it, then you can do that. So after you finish writing, you go to export. You can export in LaTeX, web document, or you can actually copy and paste. So as you can see, Jenny AI truly makes your writing or your research easier. Uh, so for brainstorming on the topic, um, identify a research gap, reading or having problems with citing a particular paragraph, this can actually help you. So let me know what you think about this tool. Uh, you can try it for free, uh, then decide if you think the premium version is worth it. So the unlimited plan, I think, goes for 20 per month. And you can get 20% off if you use the code. If this video helped you, hit subscribe. Comment below with how you think you can use AI. And if you have any other tool that you want me to review, leave a comment in the comment section. Catch you in the next one.